Peter Bilgek took pole position in a qualifying session that saw a close grid with the top 11 drivers all covered by one second. Driving in 333 Nicaraguan Cordoba's racing colors, Project charged into the first corner and held his lead despite running in too deep, with a concertina effect into the first turn, the pack all bunched up allowing the leading trio of Project, Joshua Rogers and Kevin Siggy to break away. After setting a blisteringly quick lap in qualifying, the expectation was that Brojack would run clear but Rogers kept his Croatian sim racing rival well within his sights, in what would be a continuous mistake for Brojack, lap after lap the Croatian racer would keep running in too hot into the first turn, but despite this being a near carbon copy each lap with Rogers attempting to squeeze by Brojack defended hard to maintain the lead each time. After starting at the back of the grid, Archie Hamilton was putting in a strong drive and gradually climbing up the field, but the racing influencer was unable to avoid the danger zone and was eventually eliminated from the race. Coming into the closing stages, Rojak continued to hold his lead over Rogers and Siggy, with the battle heating up as Rogers continued to hound the rear virtual diffuser of Rojak. In the mid-pack, Dee's to cheat a test driver was running a strong race amongst the world's fastest sim racers as they all jostled for position behind the real world driver. With Project's repeated mistake down into turn one bunching the leading three together again Siggy attempted a move around the outside of Rogers, as the race moved into the penultimate lap, Rogers stepped up the pressure on Project and completed a move he tested in the previous lap lunging up the inside to barge past Brojack into turn 6. After biding his time throughout the race, it was Rogers who crossed the line to take Tag Heuer Porsche's first win in Formula E, sort of. The podium was rounded out by Brojack and Siggy, celebrating his winning the first round, Rogers said, what a race. It was pretty crazy right from the beginning. I tried to capitalize as best I could and bide my time, I probably pushed a little bit too hard early on and so I was struggling towards the end of the race. But then I had the opportunity to pounce on Peter and I took my chance at turn 6. Let's block ads. Why?